man. Let's go. What we got? Oh, Green Hill. Whoa! I know what you're thinking. I'm good and powerful, apparently. New yeah, voice. Hit him. What the hell? Dude. We got to go back and look at that. Like, whoa. I was not ready. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's try and go slower. I'm not going frame by frame. I'm just going to go slower. All right. Let's take a look. Okay, so we got Green Hill. It's in 3D CGI. I knew this was going to happen because I've been keeping up with this. And this series development for a while. Um, but it looks good. I like the little blue uh, thing they have around the frame to make it, like, again, supersonic speed. There's some golden rings in there. They even got the nice little shine to it, which is nice. There's Sonic himself. He looks freaking sick. I love this animation. He definitely looks very expressive. He's doing the figure eight maneuver from Sonic CD. That's pretty cool. And they have a what looks like some kind of texture. Like if you look close, like I'll, like I said, uh, Netflix released some screenshots. So we'll take a look at those. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That is pretty sick. I am not gonna lie to you. That is pretty sick. I am already in love with the series. I know. The official logo. Obviously the cracks appear in the Sonic part of the logo as it goes on. But it's keeping that really neat neon-ish aesthetic for the Prime part of the logo, which is cool. And this is the part I want to talk about the most. Because it would appear that we have a new Sonic voice actor. Very interesting. Let's take a listen, shall we? you're thinking i'm good and powerful apparently jealous Ooh, mm. i like it he, he's got that cocky arrogant attitude kind of like the 2000s like ryan drummond but he also has kind of that voice cadence that's kind of like roger but has better voice direction no offense to roger not your fault but that's cool all right now let me try to get a random free screen in here Here we go. Um, yeah, this is cool. He's got an expressive brow, which is nice. Uh, it's obviously the game design, because he's got the tan arms, and he has the one eyeball. And the shade of blue is... It actually looks a bit lighter than I remember, because I never thought I remember not just movie Sonic, but normal mainline series modern sonic has that darker blue color but i guess it just depends on the game and depends on the lighting but here this is really cool and speaking of the lighting you see like this little sunset fade if you look really closely like on that little like if you look at his front you see all this like texture and shading they were not kidding when they said this was high budget they were not kidding this looks sick Miles above Sonic Boom. Jealous. <laughs> he's and he's very expressive. He's even got the little um lids on each side of his eyes. Well, each side of his eye with the two pupils, but that looks really cool. Um this face will probably be a meme. <laughs> I would not be surprised if this becomes a meme. Okay. Oh come on! I, I want I want to try to get it to freeze frame when he goes serious, ish. Like he goes serious rather quickly, so I assume he's talking to like some kind of boss character. Maybe it's Doctor Eggman. I don't know because we know from concept art that there's gonna be like multiple versions of these characters in there. So he could be talking to Eggman. He could be talking to some rando. Who knows? But this is cool, man. Netflix, you are knocking it out of the park. Okay. Now I'm just finding a random spot. There we go. Now this is a classic song right here. He's got the side smirk. He doesn't have a middle mouth. Very, very cool. I'm I'm digging it. I'm really digging this. This is cool. Alright. 
now we're going to take a quick little jump cut and take a look at the screenshots. All right, here's our first screenshot. And wow. <laughs> did a better job than I did, that's for sure. Look at this, man. This is cool. Like, look at the reflection in his eyes here. That is sick. This is like game cutscene quality. This is so good, man. And yep, see right there, like I told you, he has a texture. Which I'm assuming is taking inspiration because Movie Sonic had texture. Because, you know, he had f both quills and fur. And he had that texture to him. So I assume, since this is supposed to be trying to up the quality of the overall IP to, like, here, where Sega wants it, even though it's always been up here, if you ask me. Even with Sonic 06 in it being in existence, but this is cool. Like, you see that texture, you can see, like, each individual quill. It almost has, like, a shell, uh, like, a cell shading to it. That is sick. And then you can see right there. And then even the ring looks good. Like, look at this. Even the ring's looking good. It's the same, it's the gold color that it should be right from the games. As well as, again, having a bit of that shine to it. Because, apparently, this is set at, like, maybe late day, early sunset. This is pretty cool. Okay. Screenshot 2. This one. Mmm. <laughs> um, I, I kind of already screenshot... Not screenshot. I kind of already showed you this one, but this is just it in better quality. Like, he's got a serious expression. You can see that he's determined. Here's a better look at that sick-looking figure eight. Like, that. that is so cool. And I love that they're taking elements from the games while making their own kind of thing. And they got the Green Hill Zone texture right. The, the trees are the right size. Yeah, man, that's pretty sick. Um, I'm calling it right now. This might be my phone wallpaper. Now for the cast. Let's take a look. So we have Devin Mack. That's the new voice of Sonic. That's as far as we know. And then the rest are Ashley Ball, Shannon, Can Shannon Chan Kent, Brian Drummond, Vincent Tong, Ian Hanlon, Kazumi Evans, and Adam Narada. Hmm. I feel like I've heard Brian Brian Drummond's name before, but it's not clicking with me right now. Hmm. Well, you know what? Let me do a quick IMDb search and I'll get back to you. Alright, so I've got IMDb pulled up trying to solve this mystery. And let me see here. Oh! That's how, That's why I recognize this guy. This is the Ocean Dub guy. This is the guy that did Vegeta's voice in the Ocean Dub for Dragon Ball Z. I completely forgot about that. That is cool. So they got an anime dub voice actor in this in a Sonic show. Very interesting. Has he done anything else I know? The Willoughbys, I still have yet to watch that. Norma the North, I'm not touching that with a 50 million foot pole. Um, Mega Man Fully Charged, only watched like two episodes and gave up. Um, hmm. No, I don't. Huh. I thought I knew him for more than just that, but... Apparently not. Oh, and apparently it was also in Bob the Builder. Huh, I haven't seen that show in years. But man, I was... I forgot that Ocean... I forgot there were so many different dubs for Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> and if I remember correctly, this guy was also in Dragon Ball Super. Because he was the voice of Clone Vegeta. It was like a little Easter egg for the fans. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool they're getting a Dragon Ball voice actor in a Sonic show. And yes, I know of the 
Sonic X Dragon Ball jokes. <laughs> you know, Sonic Shadow Vegeta Goku. No. Sonic Shadow Silver Goku Vegeta Future Trunks. I know. I know the obvious knockoffs when I see it, but that's cool. That is cool. Um, as for the rest, I do not know. I'm not 100% sure who the rest are. Um, I'll do my own research and maybe get back to you when we get to, like, the trailer or something. When we actually see who these people are voicing. But, yeah, from what I can hear, Devin Max sounds pretty good as Sonic. Like, he, again, he has that, like, cadence of Roger, but he has that, like, cocky, arrogant attitude of, like, Ryan or Jason. You know, the best voice actors of this character. But Devin's already making a great first impression, so we'll see how this plays out. But that's going to do it for this video. Um, I'm hyped for Sonic Prime, if you can already tell. And this just shot it up in the stratosphere, especially since Sonic 2 is finally done and over with. So, And since Sonic will be taking a break in 2023, aside from the Knuckles show, but you know what I mean. Taking a break in theaters, we're not getting the next movie until at least 2024. That means that we're going to have this show and the Knuckles show. So we'll have two different shows, but not, not like a big movie release for a while. So that's fine by me, because it means that I can do more, you know, I have more flexibility to do other things. But I had to talk about this, because you know I talk about Sonic all the time on this channel. So, yep, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And like I said... Videos are going to be slowed down a bit because I'm in the middle of moving, I'm sick, and there's just a lot going on. So, yep, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Jack Small of Animation Station. I'll see you next time. Peace.